those who are just going on this spiritual um, adventurism, right? So they could go wrong because you are not basing anything in solid belief, right? So again, I would say that probably the prerequisite is to have true belief. And then from true belief, you can definitely have guidance. So if you could please speak to this uh, continuum of starting with the true belief and then Ibadah and and then the, the, the spiritual upliftment so that people, people can get it. What is the prerequisite? What do I need to have to begin with, right? And then that, that would put me on the right track to achieving human excellence or reach the, the level of Ihsan and Azima. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a very good question and uh, I think everyone asks themselves this question at some level. Not necessarily consciously, mm-hmm. but this, this question is knowing in them in the sense we're trying to find our way in this life. Mm-hmm. And that's the call of our fitrah, our innate, good innate nature. And uh, I think that's the starting point, is to listen to these questions inside of you. There's an urge inside of everyone. And that's the urge of the fitrah to find Allah, to find the way to Allah, to know what Allah wants, to know what life is about, and to uh, uh, find one's way in this life. And so we, we at an intuitive level, at the level of fitrah and soul, we understand the value of our life. So we try to find that out. We try to utilize it. We try to uh, connect with this need. That's the best starting point. Mm-hmm. Most people try to start intellectually. They say, oh, I want to learn something. I want to read something. Well, reading might actually get you to ask the questions. It might get you to uh, reflect and uh, introspect. Uh, but the real starting point is to look inside, mm-hmm. to listen to the genuine questions, the most innate questions that we have as human beings. Because... That's your natural curiosity and inquisitive nature. And that's when you learn the most. That's when you learn at a deep level. So when you respond to this, when you pay attention to this natural curiosity and and engage with it and try to listen to the questions, Mm -hmm. try to pay attention to them, not avoid them, not try just to write them on paper and move on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Listen to them. Have a discussion with them. uh, generally speaking, they will, they, will, they will nudge the person towards asking, what is my life about? What am I supposed to do here? Mm-hmm. And if, if it gets clearer, even the person would, would, would just feel the existence of Allah, of God. Mm-hmm. And they would try to find them. And want to engage with them. want to connect with, or want, with him or want to connect with him. So I think that's the, that's the best starting point. That's the starting point. point. Yeah. <clears throat> Absolutely. Finding, what I would, I would put it this way. Finding this hunger, this thirst inside of you, connecting with it, identifying with it, mm-hmm. establishing yourself there, then starting from that point, this makes you humble. Mm-hmm. It's not like I know it all. Mm-hmm. You don't say this person know, knows it all. You don't say this scientist knows it all or this TV station knows it all, this philosopher knows it all. No, it makes you humble and thirsty for the truth. You're open, you're searching for the truth. You wanna see where the truth is. And as long as you establish there, this actually, this is a very powerful place to be in. Because anything that goes against it, anything that sort of uh, forms or makes you feel there's, there's an onslaught or an attack on this feeling, that's, that's a red flag. Mm-hmm. That's a red flag. And uh, usually when people are in this inquisitive state, when they listen to the Quran, if they understand it, if it's in Arabic or if it's translated mm-hmm, into their own mm-hmm. languages, their hearts are open. Usually that's when they start connecting with mm-hmm, it. Mm-hmm. So I would say just embracing and engaging with this natural thirst that we find in ourselves about who we are, what life is, who Allah really is, what am I supposed to do with my life? That's your starting point before anything else. Mm-hmm. And then building on the starting point,